Hey you guys, so totally random. I've been loving these. Do you guys ever have these? The sparkling ice and they come with like so many different flavors. My favorite are the lemonades and there's only five calories. One that I tried recently that I thought was really good. If you guys like anything peach, the peach lemonade was really good. This is just your normal lemonade, but it's refreshing where, you know, you just want something other than water. So love that. Okay. So story time. Yesterday I had planned to take the kids to the zoo. I had some work getting done at the house and I work from home. Oh my God. It was just crazy. So I had some meetings and then I was going to take them. So I packed up my It's Your Itsy bottle bag and convertible bag. And we had every intention in of going to the zoo and on the way to the zoo, we're on the highway and guys, I felt like I was playing a human game of Frogger. So, you know, Frogger, how you're dodging different cars and stuff like that. Like it was the craziest thing. I know if you want to see the packing video, just skip on ahead, but real quick, I, I could not, I like believe what happened. I'm driving and literally always safe thing. You know, they always say don't follow the car so close in front of you. And I'm so glad that I didn't. It was just me and the two kids in the car. This like truck comes over in front of me, but you know, I slowed down. So the car was still quite a distance away in the bed of his truck. Literally stuff comes flying out of his truck. And I'm like, in my SUV, you know, trying to like navigate around this. I was so scared because I mean, at one point his ladder went flying out of the truck and I don't think the driver had any idea. I just don't think he or she like secured the stuff down really well. So they're just driving. And I mean, it was like big sheets of some type of metal and then one of the things I had to hit because there was cars around me I'm trying to go around it was a box and it really freaked me out because you know a box you don't know what's in especially when since I've seen all this metal it like I guess it got sucked up underneath my SUV because I didn't know what happened because also my car started shaking and at this point I'm like freaking freaking out because I hear <laughs> And so I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. And so I go over on the, you know, side of the highway, one of the worst places I feel like, you know, to pull over because cars are going like 75 miles, 80, whatever, on the highway. This very, very sweet guy in a Tesla comes up behind me and he's like, oh, let me help you. I'll look under the car and don't come over here. I saw you had kids here, your car. So sweet, we look under and thank God the box literally had nothing in it. But because it got like, I don't even know, like sucked up under the car and made it seem like, I don't know, something happened. But I swear to God, I went to panic mode and I was like, oh my God, my husband's not near me. I've gotten flat tires because I have gotten a flat blue tire on a highway before and that is no fun. But just very thankful of that good Samaritan in the Tesla, the white car. You were on the highway the other day. Very appreciative. But anyways, so what I'm trying to say is, you know, this is saving to go to the zoo. I was just having a moment and I, then we were trying to, I was like, screw it. I promised my kids I'll take them to the zoo. And I just keep trying to, to go to the zoo. And then I got reverted to all these back roads because there was all like this construction. And then like these cars were just driving like idiots. And the more and more I was like, I don't want to do it anymore. So I packed up my bag to go to the zoo and I packed up snacks. And so I used the laptop that was in this bag. I used my work stuff that was in the bag. I used the snacks that were in the bag, but I did never made the zoo. So very thankful that I packed lots of snacks. Like first on, first of all, if you've not used the bottle bag from Itsy Ritzy, you've seen me review this if you're not new here multiple times and how cute do these go together? And It's Your Itsy just came out with a coffee and cream convertible that's on pre-order right now. So check that out. I'll leave a little picture here. And yes, you better believe that I pre-ordered that baby that's coming in September. 
So I've done this multiple times, but guys, this comes in such great because with this zipper being so easily like being able to zipper like this, I literally had this next to me as I'm driving and one handed, don't recommend this, but I was one handed able to open this and pass back to my kids their sandwiches that were inside these snack bags. And also, what's great about these snack bags, I know this video is going to be longer than my typical videos, but I always want to point out, leave some of these in your car. Because if you're ever at like fast food places and you don't want your kids spilling, let's say, your chicken nuggets, the fries, or whatever, pour it into one of these babies and then pass it back so then you don't have to deal with those stupid little crumbs and everything in the car. Because then it's all right here. And then you can also split up like maybe a fry. Like I'll also often do that with my kids. Not like I go to the fast food all the time, but if I do do fast food or something, I'll split it in half and then they can each have one. And it's just nice and my daughter always thinks the prints are super fun. So I had three sandwiches inside here, just in the bottle bag. And as I've shown you guys before, I've been asked where I get this, was it Igloo ice pack? I got a two pack at Target and that fits perfect in this back pocket back here but love that so that came in handy since we never made it to the zoo and the kids were getting hungry and I was getting hungry and I wanted to eat some chips because I was stressed out <laughs> but so I had my cute little coffee and cream to match my bag on there and then in here because I can never say no to me some lovebird I actually had my ear pods inside here for my work call. Those were perfect. In that pocket. Then in this pocket right here, instead of putting the camera down and showing you guys, I'm just gonna hold it up just because I had little story time <laughs> before. So as you can take a peek here in this first pocket here, I had my little felt pen that I love writing with for work. And then like my little post-it thing. These things are such a lifesaver for how many notes that I take during the day. Are you guys like a note keeper at work? And then my small post-it, my keys. And then in the other pocket, since I thought we were going to the zoo, keyword thought, I had my lovely sunscreen and Kleenex. I have done other packing videos for at the zoo, but please let me know down below what type of packing video you want to see next. In this top pocket here, so this little zipper is great right there, and it's like this wide of a bat like pocket right there. And don't sleep on that pocket because this pocket, I've used it for so many different things. I also like keeping that front pocket. If you have a refillable Itsy Ritzy wipes case, that fits perfect right there. I had my lovely Anzar dinner wallet. And yes, another little hand sanitizer because you can never have enough. Actually, I think I only had one today. And then in this back pocket was just a normal change pad. But I love how squishy it is. Itsy Ritzy also is coming out with like a park bag. That's what the, we nicknamed it um, in the lovely insiders group. But it's just a bigger like fanny pack slash sling bag in the dream material that's coming out right now. It is on pre-order as well that I saw. So when we take a look in the inside of the bag, so this back pocket, I had my iPad. And it fit perfectly. Do you see that? There's the two snaps. Just to give you a good idea. It is the one that has the flip up with the key, the keyboard attached. So you can see the wide, but just an idea for size if you're curious. So that's all I had in that back pocket back there and then if you flip it around in this little mesh area here 
I just had it filled with lovely diapers and wipes. Which I have to eventually start potty training my son and I don't even want to think about that. But he's two. I know everyone does it at a different age. But I had quite a bit back there. Then this. Oh, I forgot one other thing. Um, I let my daughter play with it. But the smallest size of the leopard, uh, the smallest size of the dream packing cubes. It's like this big. Um, I had little figurines like Bluey, Paw Patrol, and stuff like that. And I loved it because my daughter was getting restless. My son actually, this was all like when the accident almost that was going to happen was right during his nap time and then he fell asleep for only like 15 minutes but then my daughter got bored because she always loves sharing like talking to him and reading so I passed those back to her and it kept her so busy so always if you have my daughter six keep those like things in your car your bag whatever just something you can pass back give them keep you sane <laughs> sane in here I had a lot of stuff there's not that many snacks left that's all that's left. I had potato chips because I need, I was craving some potato chips. I had lots of stuff. This can hold so much plus super fun. And these are washable. So I actually want to order another set because I love them so much. And then I had my little snack bag, the purple. That was fun in there as well. All right, guys, so that is everything I had inside my dream convertible for two kids and also me as a working mama. All right, guys, till next time. See you later.